Known as the Ether Man, and tonight the search for him has been stepped up. The man is suspected of raping 11 women in the UNM area back in the 90s, and now authorities think he has struck again. Eric Connor joins us from the newsroom with the latest. Eric. Well, investigators think the Ether Man did the same thing to a student at the University of Texas in Austin. They say the DNA that they found in that case matches up to the cases here in Albuquerque. This is the Austin home where a University of Texas woman was raped in 2006. The DNA found matched a suspect known to Albuquerque police as the Ether Man. Police say he would break into homes, put a rag soaked in chemicals over the victims' mouths, knock them out, and then rape them. APD has connected him to 11 rapes near the UNM campus back in the 90s. Today, this sketch of the suspect was released. On the left, what he looked like in the 90s. On the right, what he may look like now. Carolyn Faisal owns the Austin home where the latest rape happened. She was renting it out to the victim. It was devastating. I was out there. I talked to her family right away. Um, and, of course, they were all devastated. I don't know all what has happened to the girl since. I'm but police have been in contact with her and the other victims. In fact, one victim who was able to get a glance at the ether man was able to help a forensic investigator put this sketch together. It's just Dead. horrifying to, to know that there's someone like that again and again and again victimizing these women. The Ether Man has actually been indicted on the 11 rapes here under the name John Doe. Since our case, we have not seen anything like it since. So we don't know, has he gone back to Albuquerque? Has he gone somewhere else? Um, so we wouldn't know where he is or have any reason to believe he's still here. APD doesn't think the Ether Man has returned to Albuquerque either. Police say all 12 of the victims have ties to the medical community. An APD cold case detective is actively working this case right now. If you have any information, call 242-COPS. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Eric Connert, Eyewitness News 4.